iOS 15 public beta is officially here and I'm gonna show you how to install it and also how to undo it if you wanna go back. Apple announced iOS 15 at WWDC in early June. It's full of new features like SharePlay, which lets you watch TV shows and movies with friends while FaceTiming. Some neat updates for messages, including photo collections and a new shared with you section, and some stunning new views in Apple Maps. Now the public beta is live and available to install. Before we get started though, some important housekeeping. Features are of course always subject to change or get delayed, and most importantly, this is the first public beta build of iOS 15, which means it may not be as stable as the final build slated to launch later this year. I personally won't be installing this beta build on my main iPhone. I'm not that much of a risk taker, and if anything goes terribly wrong, I don't want to deal with trying to revert my primary device back to a non-beta build. So I have this nice iPhone 11. But if you're dying to take iOS 15 public beta out for a spin and you're okay installing it on an iPhone of your choosing, let's dive in. Oh, and real quick, if you enjoy this video and want more great how-tos, please consider subscribing to the channel. We appreciate it. First things first, you wanna check to see if your device is compatible. Apple says the 6S and iPhone SE are the oldest devices that you can install iOS 15 public beta on, but double check just to be sure. Of course, one of the most important steps before you install a public beta of just about anything is to back up your device. This process can vary depending on the combination of iPhone and computer you're using, but for me, all I have to do is plug in my iPhone to my MacBook Air, create my backup, and then archive that backup by clicking on Manage Backups and then right-clicking on the backup I just made and choosing Archive. Now that we've backed up our iPhone, we are going to start installing the beta. So we're going to open up Safari. We're gonna to navigate to beta.apple.com and we're gonna sign up. So you're going to scroll down and tap on sign up. It's gonna ask you to sign in with your Apple ID and password, so go ahead and do that. Now that you've signed in, you'll have an agreement to accept, so you can go ahead and scroll down. It's gonna tell you all of that nice fine print. I'm just gonna click accept because I live dangerously. Once we've accepted that agreement, if it doesn't automatically take you to a page or give you information on where you can download the profile, you're gonna to go to beta.apple.com slash profile, and there's going to be a button there that says download profile. So it's gonna ask if you wanna download a configuration profile, you're gonna hit allow, and then you can close it, and we're gonna do exactly what it just recommended. We're gonna open up settings, we're gonna tap on profile downloaded, and there it is, iOS 15 and iPad OS 15 beta software. So we wanna install this just like you would a normal iOS update. So we're gonna install that profile. You're gonna obviously give it consent to do so. Tap on install again, and we're gonna restart. Now that we've installed the profile, we have to go into settings, then we go to general, then we go to software update, and now finally, iOS 15 public beta two is ready to install. So we're gonna download and install it. Of course, more terms and conditions to agree to. It's requesting the update. It's gonna tell us how much time is left for the download. And while we wait for this to finish, you know, Lexi always has a really good idea. Maybe we'll go have some cake. All right, here we go. My phone has been updated to iOS 15.0. Public beta installed, let's check it out. You're probably noticing that this looks remarkably similar to iOS 14. Uh, there are new things in iOS 15 public beta, I promise you. And if you'd like to check them out in a full tour, you can take a look at this video right over here. But what if you decide, oh no, I've made a terrible mistake and you want to undo this, that's okay. You backed up your phone, we can go back, we have the technology. So you have to delete your profile that you installed to get iOS 15 public beta. So we're gonna go into settings. 
we're gonna go into general. Then we are going to go down to VPN and device management. We're gonna tap on that. And you're gonna see that configuration profile there. You're gonna tap on iOS 15 and you just remove it. You remove that profile, you put in your passcode and you just confirm it one more time. And it's gonna say, hey, we're gonna restart your phone. So let's restart. So we've uninstalled that profile. So now when we go back into our settings, we can go into general again, scroll down, VPN and device management. It's not there anymore. But if we look under about our phone, it says it still has 15.0 installed. Now, sometimes if you go into software update and ask it to look for a software update, it will say, hey, I can, install iOS 14.6 or whatever the current version of iOS is when you try out a public beta. Uh, but it's not doing that. So it looks like I am just going to reset my iPhone. That's why early public beta builds aren't for the faint of heart. You'll need to put your iPhone into recovery mode, plug it into your computer and restore from there. And if you have to do that too, sometimes that happens, but you know what? You get some bravery points. You get some bravery points for it. And that is how to install and uninstall the iOS 15 public beta. Now, if you found this video helpful, and I hope you did, please click on that cute little thumbs up button and tell me what you think of iOS 15 public beta down in the comments. And until next time, be good humans.